Hello and welcome to Biz Daily. I'm John Jordan. So today the big news is that GRI has laid off 30% of its San Francisco office. So GRI is one of the big Japanese mobile gaming platforms that uh, over the last couple of years has kind of uh, spent a lot of the money that it was accumulating in the Japanese feature phone market um, expanding west. And San Francisco has been its kind of key international headquarters where it's had a lot of uh, development staff and it's had a lot of um, kind of sales and marketing and that kind of support staff. Um, so uh, I'm not quite sure, they've not announced how many numbers of people have been, have been laid off, but if it's a third of what has been a pretty big studio, it could be three into three figures. Obviously being laid off is not, is not pleasant for anyone, um, and they practically went through the proper, um, go to a small room, be told you're laid off, walk back to your desk, pick up your stuff, and off you go. Um, the only kind of upside is that under California law, you get kind of two months of, uh, of, of kind of salary, so they've got this kind of, a bit, bit of, kind of uh, money in hand to, um, sort themselves out and the, the kind of other good thing is San Francisco is, is the best place um, in a sense to be laid off from a mobile gaming company because there's so many mobile game companies in San Francisco, you know, everyone in the world and they have an international office and they have it in San Francisco so it's a kind of a boom area still. Um, whether whether you know up to 100 people can be absorbed in that way is difficult, there's always um, kind of, you know, some people will kind of leave, imagine leave the industry. Um, but maybe it's kind of interesting to look back at kind of kind of how Greek got itself into this situation. So. Um, as we said before, um, Gree was, was very, very successful in um, in the Japanese feature phone market, which was a bit more um, in between than what we would call a smartphone and, and a feature phone. Um, so, kind of four or five years ago, Gree was um, was generating you know, over a billion dollars a year, very, very profitable, and it started using that money to expand. So, it bought some other um, developers in Japan, um, and it bought some companies in the US. So, um, Open Fate was one of the companies it bought, and then it also bought another company called um, Funzio. Open Fate was a more kind of social gaming platform company, it wasn't a developer, Funzio was a developer of some of the early um, free-to-play iPhone games that were very successful. And that's kind of how the San Francisco studio came about. Um, so that's kind of some of the kind of uh, the people who've been kind of uh, laid off today have come from those teams. Um, and equally, um, Gree has been going through um, a, a kind of a generally a restructuring. So over the last couple of years, it's lost quite a lot of teams in Japan. Um, it kind of uh, a couple of years ago posted um, over fifty million dollars, um, kind of right down. It cancelled a whole bunch of games. Um, just been trying to focus on proper smartphone games, so so iPhone and, and Android games. And it's been very difficult for it because it's been so successful in the in the Japanese market, which is quite different to other kind of markets in terms of technology and in terms of kind of user and game and games that work and, and their kind of monetization. So it's had a kind of problem taking that kind of expertise and, and, and being successful globally. You, there's a book called The Innovator's Dilemma, which is very good at kind of explaining um, why some companies that are very good at some things are not very good at doing things that should they seems like they should be being good at. Um, and really, unfortunately, it's been almost kind of, um, in some ways, disastrous in its expansion. So it tried to set up a studio in London, um, and I got, I mean, it got fairly big, and it got shut down um, without releasing a game um, earlier this year in May. It shut down its Vancouver development studio, and now it's lost a third of its San Francisco studio. Um, I guess on the on the positive side, um, companies need to restructure. They can't just kind of keep losing money, and I guess that was probably for people working at Gree. It's a company now that's. Um, it's still a big company, it still probably have um, sales of $800 million this year, mainly from Japan, but it's not um, not profitable, it's kind of borderline kind of loss making, so it's very da dangerous when you're working for a company that's not doing very well in terms of profitability, uh, that always means a good restructure is likely to be on the cards. Um, so I guess the good sign for Gree is they've still got 60%, um, <laughs> or 70% I suppose, of the, of, the, of the studio at San Francisco, um, and some of those will be teams working on new games. Um, and I guess it's, it's kind of games is where it really matters for Gree. So it hasn't really had a big hit in the West um, in the last couple of years, really. Um, so um, the games that are kind of still making money for it internationally have been the games from, uh, say, a company like Funzio, which it bought a number of years ago. Um, it had a game called Modern War and a few other games that have been that have been successful for a number of years. But Gree's not had really had that kind of big breakout hit um, in recent years, and I guess that's what they'll be looking to do. So kind of focus down their teams, you know, kind of restructure, um, kind of concentrate the good skills it has, um, and and then kind of kind of reinvent itself and kind of rebound. So I guess that's what we'll, we'll be looking to see um, in in the, in the coming months um, and towards the end of this year is how how this reorganisation has kind of hopefully helped Gri as a company um, kind of reinvigorate itself. Um, so obviously never not not nice to the people who've been laid off, um, but um, as we say, hopefully um, in a couple of months' time everyone will feel a bit happier about the news that um, currently today doesn't feel like very happy news at all.